My name is Emily and I'm a senior herpetology keeper here at Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens. For World Turtle Day, we wanted to share some of the species you can find here and some unique facts about these incredible animals. I'm here outside of the African Reptile House with one of our pancake tortoises, Solvi, who's a one-year-old female. So pancake tortoises are an African species that are from Tanzania and Kenya. They occupy dry savannas and scrublands, and they also occupy habitats known as kopis, which are small hilly areas. They tend to take refuge in those rocky formations. All tortoises are in fact turtles because their bodies are inside a bony shell. Tortoises, for the most part, usually have a domed uh, top of their shell, which is called a carapace, and they mostly live on land and have stumpy elephant-like feet. Turtles, for the most part, will live close to or in water and usually have flat, flipper-like feet. Pancake tortoises get their name from their very flat shell. When they hatch out, they are initially have a curved carapace, but they flatten out as they grow. They're also very excellent climbers. The places that they're found out in the wild, they can reach elevations of 6,000 feet. And they're not very big. They're only about six to seven inches long. Pancake tortoises are considered critically endangered by the IUCN because of collection for the pet trade and also habitat destruction. They're desirable as pets because they typically tend to stay small in size and also because of their unique look. They're a flat tortoise. They also have a very slow reproduction rate. Females usually only lay one egg at a time, so removing a female from the wild is very detrimental to their overall population. Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens is part of the Pancake Tortoise Species Survival Plan through the Association of Zoos and Aquariums. Since 2013, we have hatched nine offspring from our current breeding pair. You can learn more about pancake tortoises and support its conservation by visiting the zoo. We have some pancake tortoises on display in the African Herp House, and you may also see this species as an ambassador animal in one of our education programs. Hello, my name is Matt Corton. I'm a senior herpetology keeper here at the Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens, and we're here at the Wild Florida Herp House to talk to you about spotted turtles. Spotted turtles are one of the smaller turtle species out there. They only get to about three and a half to five inches, and they're most known for the spots that they have. So they can have anywhere from one spot on a scoop, and as they grow older, they can have as many as 100 spots or so. Um, but some spotted turtles might develop no spots at all, and those spots can be anywhere from yellow to orangish in color. The spotted turtles can be found all up and down the eastern coast of the United States. They can be found all the way up in Maine, down here to the northern part of Florida, and over into the areas of the Great Lakes. Uh, they love to live in wetlands and bogs and marsh type settings and they love shallow water and slow moving water. They're not known for their swimming abilities, so they prefer that uh, shallower pools of water. Spotted turtles are considered omnivores. They'll eat a variety of different things. They're known for eating small insects, crustaceans, and then they'll also eat on different types of algae. So here at the zoo, we'll give them a variety of foods, whether it's crickets, some chopped up night crawlers, and then we'll also give them a turtle pellet and some small greens for them to munch on. Spotted turtles are endangered because they are very popular on the pet trade. Due to their small size, a lot of people just look at this turtle and think to themselves that they can take care of it. But like I mentioned before, they can live anywhere from 40 to 100 years. So you have to be committed to taking care of that animal. And at the same time as well, spotted turtles, they don't become mature until they're about seven to eight years old. So out in the wild, if these animals get predated on before they turn seven, they're not reproducing and not increasing their population. So due to habitat loss, and predation and illegal collection due to the pet trade, we are seeing a decrease in this animal. 
One of the ways that you can help out with spotted turtles is that when you're out and about doing your hikes and exploring nature, make sure to stay on marked pathways. If you go off the beaten path, you might accidentally stumble across one of these amazing animals and destroy some wildlife. Spotted turtles make nests, they only bury them about two inches deep, so you might accidentally disturb some of their nests. And at the same time too, if you do come across these animals, just leave them be. I know it might be tempting to go ahead and take one home with you, but they are best to be left out in the wild. Hi, I'm Amy, Senior Herpetology Keeper here at the Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens, and I take care of all the reptiles in our range of the jaguar area that houses all of our Central and South American species, including our Central American river turtles. The hickety, as they're also known, are found throughout Mexico and down through Belize and even in some parts of Honduras. They're usually found in waterways that lead out to the Atlantic Ocean. They like the deep waters of rivers and even some lakes. Some of them can be found in rapidly flowing water, but others can be found in water that's relatively still, like deep, deep lakes. The Central American River turtles can be the largest freshwater species found in Belize. They can get up to two feet in length and weigh almost 50 pounds. The females tend to be a little bit larger than the males and they're characteristically known for having a very flat shell. So the part of their shell that's on top, called the carapace, in these turtles, once they reach adulthood, it doesn't have any scoots or any type of markings on it. So it tends to be very, very smooth. It's one of their main characteristics. And when they do shed that piece of carapace off, it comes off in one piece. They are from a very ancient group of turtle species and they're actually the only living species in that family. The Hecate are listed in the IUCN Red List as critically endangered, and one of their main factors that is affecting them is the bushmeat trade. They tend to be a very large species of turtle, so they can give lots of good meat that people like to eat. So it is unfortunate that they are being collected for that. The Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens has been working with a program called Be Free for quite some time now. So they are the Belize Foundation for Research of Environmental Education. And we send donations through money down to them that comes from the admission sales that goes to that program so we can help fund things for them like equipment. But we also send people down there every year to physically work with them. And we do health assessments on all the turtles that they have there. They have a large breeding group down in Belize and we go and we help them gather all those turtles and we look at them physically to see if they have any types of wounds or any types of ailments and we tend to send a veterinarian or a vet tech down so that they can help give care to those animals and we also have a keeper that is familiar with their habitats and their diets and things like that so we can help them assess if they're giving them the proper care for those animals that are breeding. The babies that actually come from those groups just recently, I think last year was the first year that they're able to send individuals back into the wild. So they have been able to find a suitable location that they can start to repatriate and last year was the first year that they got babies back out into the wild. And we're very proud of that. Thank you so much for learning about these turtle species with us. They all play a very important role in this world. And if you'd like to learn more about the incredible animals that we have here at the Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens, be sure to like our videos and subscribe to our page for more information. Thanks so much.